hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to install flame os 9 on my redmi note 8 so uh, currently i am using a hobok os which is running on android 11 and this is a very good rom and if you want to use this rom you can use it and it has subtle customization you can use and the battery backup is very good but i don't know about the gaming performance because i don't play game so but i have done many uh uh, recording and also editing on this ROM and the performance was quite good so I have no complaint about this ROM and it's working really fine so as I said today we are going to install Flame OS 9 first of all if you are a custom ROM lover I know you are going to install are uh, you going to change your ROM very often so one thing you can do is that you can take a backup of your, backup of your uh, apps so with your data so for that i will be using swift backup so if you go to play store you will get if you search swift backup and it is very easy to use actually so previously we, i was using uh, that is called uh, titanium backup that one is uh, not that actually user friendly so i'm not using that so this is the app i'm going to use today so you must need root permission means you if you have magisk installed then you can use this one then just you can see the backup all apps option you can go there and you can select and you can see here backup option if you click here you can select what do you want so you can uh, backup on your uh, internal storage or or somewhere else and also you can backup your data expansion and um, extension data so you can do it too so first of all i'm going to do that because after installing the rom i will be uh, in, uh, restore this backup and it will it will be time saving actually so let's do it first it may take a little time because it will backup your data too so keep patient Two thousand years later. So hey guys, uh, the backup is completed. So it has taken more than ten minutes to finish. So it will the time will be very very device to device. What uh, apps do you have or how many games you have? So it depends on uh, your device. So let's check where did the the app taken the backup. If it's in internal storage, you have to move it to external storage because uh, while flushing the rom you have to clean the internal uh, internal storage so let's check where did it take the backup internal storage so as you can see swift backup but it didn't take here because i have changed the uh, location of the backup as you can see 16 minutes ago we have the backup here so all the apks and everything is here so now now we have to flash the rom so the rom is i have already downloaded and the link will be description as you can see jinko flame 9.23a so let's uh, reboot the device into twrp or recovery so let's do it from magisk So you have to do a clean flash, otherwise it, it may not work. So that's why we have to move the, as I said, we have to move uh, the backup file to our external storage. Otherwise uh, you will lose the backup file and you cannot restore your apps. As you can see, we uh, I have Orange Fox recovery here. I don't have TWRP, but whatever you have, it will work. I don't think I uh, I don't think this uh, this ROM uh, needs uh, FW. So let's check if it's need FW. Then I have to download again and flash FW first. But I don't think it's need FW.
let's um, so first of all we have to go to the wipe go to the format page and just yes first and it will delete everything from your internal storage so this this thing is necessary actually now back cache system vendor data and internal storage clean all back now you have to look at your file so as i'm as my file is in my core sd card so as you can see here jinko flame 9.2 so this is only for uh, jinko not for willow so don't flash it to node 80 it will not work and it may break your device so as you can see the flashing started it, it will take little time uh, two or three minutes A few moments later so the ROM is booted up now let's uh, quickly finish the setup process English So we have finished the setup process now let's see so you will find the chinese language here and there because it is ported from the chinese rom so you will get uh, many things in chinese but um, it's the rom uh, as i have seen the rom is look like uh, miui ui as you can see it's similar to miui ui and I have to use it and then I will give you a review how it works so far it's looking good there is as you can see if I go to the system it may lag first time first in the first boot because it's not yet done processing all the things so as you can see here we can see the Chinese language and I think somewhere else also you can you will find this so Qualcomm 665 4 gb 64gb android 11 as you can see here so the security patch is august 5 2021 it's quite uh, old actually but anyway we have the flame OS here and it's looking good actually the wi-fi is working fine and i had i have heard that the bluetooth doesn't work i don't know in let's check the bluetooth work or not as for me it's working fine as you can see the bluetooth is working and wi-fi is working fine location is working and let's turn on the dark mode so dark mode also working 
so i will give you a thorough review of this rom after using some time so thanks for watching this video see you next time 10 years later so hey guys uh, i have included the review video with the installation video actually i wanted to do a dedicated video for this uh, rom and so i'm actually very disappointed about this rom this is a garbage rom and it's a drop battery like water and you can't even use this rom and it's very laggy as you can see i have installed all the apps and everything and i have tried everything just three hours i have used this rom and i am fed up right now and i'm going to change it today at night so um, basically this rom is look like uh my 13 and very much uh everything is uh, looks good but the, the the rom performance is so bad that you will not able to use this this is not a daily driver rom although it has a lot of feature and it looks good just and the fingerprint scanner is so slow sometime even double tap to a uh, uh, web doesn't work so i will not recommend you this rom if you really want to install this rom you can get the link in the description below you can try it but uh, i will say don't flash it this rom is garbage rom and it's um, there is nothing special here actually so as you can see everything is uh, like android 11 and also the security patch level is uh, from uh, i think august or october so best we can try uh, something else like uh, as i said hover os arrow os and dot os are really good rom so you can try those rom but those are purely stock rom so there is not much customization but in havoc OS you will get some kind of subtle customization as i said but as you will not get the customization like this rom and miui 13 or something else but anyway uh, this is the review of this rom so my my suggestion is don't flash this rom i am uploading this rom for the people who really want to try this rom and to warn them not not to install this rom actually because it's going to ruin your time and you will be very uh, fed up with this rom so thank you very much for watching see you next time